and during his years as a property tycoon, he saw it as a real estate opportunity. He wanted to be the contractor that carried out the billion dollar refurbishment of UN headquarters. Those tiles behind the speaker's podium, he said they always bothered him. But it's the cost of the global body that now troubles him the most. Whether it's the United Nations or NATO, a constant complaint of the Trump administration is that the rest of the world takes financial advantage of America. But it's always Uncle Sam that ends up footing the bill. Under pressure from the Trump administration, the UN has already cut its peacekeeping budget by more than half a billion dollars. UN officials had wanted to increase it. The White House has also complained that its 28.5% share of the global peacekeeping bill is unfair. The president has pursued diplomacy at the United Nations. After the Assad regime used chemical weapons against its own people, the US ambassador, Nikki Haley, held up photographs of child victims at the Security Council, a dramatic gesture followed by airstrikes. On North Korea, the United States has also successfully pressed for tougher sanctions on Pyongyang. The America First doctrine, which on issues like climate change also means America alone, seems at odds with the multilateral spirit of the United Nations. So will he lecture the international community or will he try to be more conciliatory? <laughs>